Yo, what's going on guys? Talia just got buffed, making her a much easier beginner jungler. And she's still quite good in higher elo as well. She's currently a top five jungle champion based on pick rate and win rate. And essentially what they've done is your boulder that you throw after you've been on worked ground now stuns monsters, which makes her much easier to kite them out with. So instead of you losing huge chunks of health, especially if you're not very good at kiting, instead you'll have much more health, making it easier to gank and not die in your own jungle. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Up against the Fiddlesticks, your worst matchups on Talia are melee champs usually that can close distance. Things like Sejuani and Amumu, they can stack lots of magic resist as well. So magic resist tanks who have dashes essentially. Lead in with a Q. You still wanna mix in auto attacks, but ultimately you do want a Q from your worked ground. So there we're gonna stun him. And as you can see, he's stunned for a very, very long time. And that is why Talia is so good right now. I assume they're going to have to revert this change, even though this made it to live here. Like this is not PBE. But it's just too strong. Anyone can play her now, and it's way too easy in my opinion. Like being full health without really having to try is just kind of nuts. You're going to want to max your Q first, E second, and W last. And your Q off of work ground is an AoE stun on monsters, so <laughs> it's the whole camp. They also gave her a quality of life change on her passive. If you have a burn style item, then it won't keep putting your passive on cooldown as the enemies are getting burned from your Leandres or Demonic. Walk up, hit him with the stun. You still have full HP, even against Raptor camp. Weaving in auto attack. EW, knock him through for max damage, and we're gonna wanna Q off of this. Just cycled our stuns to where the red buff still hasn't even touched us and it's almost dead. Very nice. Hit him with another stun. And we should be able to do roughly a 315. Very nice timing. Still reach the other one with that. Yeah, it's about a 315, 315 to 320 full HP with double refills, which is honestly quite exceptional. Not many junglers can pull that off with dual refills. Viewers missing a whole lot of health. Very gankable. Go ahead and push him. Hit him with our Q. We could look for a mid gank here. We do want to have our W and E up though before the gank happens. Soon Fiddle Six is bot side. He probably started on his blue buff. Rush out, pressure him with a Q and auto attack. Got him with that into the stun and we'll finish him off with our autos. Having ranged autos is very, very nice. Huge advantage that uh, melee junglers can't really tap into. Having red buff. Auto attacks on a range champ is a way bigger advantage because you can get more autos off. And red buff increases the on-hit damage and uh, is a slow, obviously. We should be able to get them on the pinch here. Ooh, Swain's rotating, it seems. Down she goes. I think Swain might be here, but we should be fine. Okay, yeah, he didn't come all the way down. Oh, what? Got red buff autos on him. We'll get him with an EW, try to push him back. He flashes. I think our attack might have missed though anyways. Oh wow, Ziri got it. Well played by her. We'll go ahead and take these real quick. Might as well. Very nice. I'm taking this. And then we can look to reset. We don't want to overstay. We can check Scuttle real quick. We have a massive purchase. You normally want to go for Everfrost or Ludens. If their team is more melee heavy, then you want Everfrost. Otherwise, Ludens is better. Their team is pretty ranged heavy. So I think we'll just go for Ludens this game. That'll be the better option here, I think. You can go for a tier two boots rush on Talia in the same way you would on a Fiddlesticks jungle. Get some pretty good results. Especially with how gankable their lanes are, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Go for double amp tome, control ward, we'll hug the wall, go topside for the full clear. 
Try to stay on our passive. Drill sticks trying to gank mid. Bot lane's definitely gankable. I want to farm like into our buff though, so right as it comes up, we'll be there. Moving quite fast. Pushing back through the W. Into the Q. Yeah, we'll be going mid lane. We should be able to burst him down with the Akali. Ooh, I think Swain already burned his R. We'll go ahead and gank him right now. We'll skip the Raptors. I'm gonna walk up, put pressure on him with our Qs. We're gonna slow him with our E. Then we can hit him with our W for free, just like so. Having some kind of CC or slow on the opponent makes it much easier for you to land your W skill shot, which is your most important one. Because whenever you knock enemies through your E, it stuns them and does a whole lot of damage. So, getting your E down on them is a big 20% slow. And just by the pressure of you hitting them with a Q and an E, it makes them have to try to escape, so that helps as well. Our R is up, so we could definitely look for something here. Fiddlesticks is behind, so he's not he didn't hit a level early level 6 like we did. We hit a pre-7 minute 30, which is really good timing. He's going for his red buff. He doesn't have it right now. Our blue buff spawned his red buffs up. This isn't worded. It's amazing how long they made Talia build to keep her passive for. Her. He actually walked out of it by accident. That's insane. Got it. We gotta leave though. I think Swain's rotating. Oh, cool. We gotta get away from the Lux. Get him with a Q and E. Try to push him off. He gets stunned. I think he got stunned. Oh, wait, he didn't. I missed my rocks. All right, we can't do it. Call is not interested. That was really unfortunate. <laughs> right when we throw out our skill shot, it feels like it's perfectly without even realizing it. Oh, man. Oh, well. It happens. Your Q is AoE damage as well, so... Really, every single part of your kit is AoE damage, except for your R, which doesn't actually do any damage. R is just mobility. Suppose we could have R'd Fiddlesticks in there. I didn't think we'd need to. Oh, she's so dead. And yeah, we're gonna get him with the pushback here. We're gonna just whittle him down with our Qs. I'm very tempted to follow that in, but it's just not worth dying here for it. Let's see if this guy's raptors are up. Ooh, nice. It's perfect. Push him back. We have two work grounds now. We're not going to need him, though, since the camp's dead. Doesn't let you R while you're in combat. Kind of annoying. Can't go in for it. He's playing too far back, and the wave's crashing. I need him to step up if I were to go for that. Makes me think that it's warded. It's like the way he's fighting there. Might have to R for this. Neela's actually destroying the one versus two when she's behind. Okay, cool. Well, we're doing a lot of walking around. Let's go ahead and just take Dragon at this point. <laughs> I think Fiddle's watching us. Because we're on the Scuttle Crab here, so we should be. Yeah, he's watching us right here. He's got nowhere to go, though. Got him with the push. He's stunned. We nick, nick him with the Q. And then we miss Swain because he flashed. That's all right, though. Oh, wow. Lux almost got that. Holy smokes. We still haven't used our R. We'll use it now. Might build it, get something off of it. Yep. We also get this stun on this chick. Hit her with our boulder. Into some more Qs. Ziri was tanking. Wow. Nice. Your Qs are only so good against minions. 
We'll go ahead and grab our Gromp and the Wolves. Raptors will full clear up. Actually, we should back for Ludens here. There's no reason to overstay. We'll take Gromp into Scuttle Crab and we'll reset. Might as well. We're already here, plus Scuttle Crab spawning, so go ahead and snag it real quick. Into a reset, then we can go topside, push for Herald, all that fun stuff. That was a bad ping. Like I said, you can go for uh, a couple of different mythics on Talia. Generally, the Everfrost is best if they're melee heavy. You'd go for Leandri's if they're giga tanky, like an Orn and a uh, Malphite or an Orn and a Zac, that type of stuff. You're normally not going to go for that, though. Ludens is your most neutral purchase, and then Everfrost is against melee heavy comps. Yours out of position. We needed to flash for it early because Urgot's R was about to wear off and then he wouldn't be able to secure it. So we just had to get a little bit of damage on her before it was too late. It is. It seems like a, a bit much though how the monster camps can't even touch Talia because she has her AoE stun from her EQ and then she has her AoE stun from her WE. To where she's constantly full health. It feels so unnatural. Generally, ranged mobile junglers are supposed to, like, have trouble clearing. We're gonna get our E down, blue smite him into our W, and then we land it for free. E slow plus blue smite slow makes it really hard for them to dodge W. The enemies bot lane are missing, makes me a little nervous. They are behind though, so they'll have to land quite a bit to kill us. Scuttle Crab coming up once again, we'll try to kill Fiddlesticks on his red buff here. We'll check with this plant. We haven't really gone for the Heralds. You can take Herald on any jungler without losing much HP as long as you, you're just walking around and you don't let it hit you with its big charge hits. Thing is, our bot lane's so easy to gank with how ahead they are that we should just play for Draxel. Like Talia scale's just fine. You don't have to try to force early ends with her. We can go bot right now. Ziri has more items. The fight was actually kind of close before she got the kill. Wow. That's GG's, I'd say. Ziri's too big, man. New champion's interesting, but she seems a little underpowered. They're probably going to like hotfix that give her a buff. There's nowhere for us to gank. Get the knockback, he's in our stun, and the Q, blue smite. We hit him with our boulder. It's so funny that boulder slows champions. AoE stun against uh, monsters, the boulder, but against champions, it's a big slow. Like, absolutely enormous. It's, it's really too strong. The way it used to be, whenever you bouldered off of your warped ground, it was a disadvantage for you, but you do it out of desperation. Now, you literally want to. It's better than not. Because even though it's less damage up front, since it's on a way shorter cooldown, it's actually more damage. So it's more damage and it's the slow. There's just no reason not to. The only situation where you'd want to use like a normal Q versus a worked ground single Q, like this, the only time is if they have a Banshee's Veil or a or a shield style ability like Sivir to block that. So in that case, you'd want your normal Q to shred it and still be able to hit. Those are such rare situations though. Wait, she just goes over it? What the heck? <laughs> That's cool. Lux gets the snare, she's not very fed though. Fiddlesticks is making me nervous. Wield, get this dragon. We still have item advantage. Ooh, this is bad. Got to get out of there before Fiddle eats me. Fiddle's looking for that situation too. Thank you very much. Perfect time to get a plant. We should be pulling this out though. Yep, that's why we should be pulling it out. And then he's going to flash. Feels bad. As long as Yuri doesn't die, it's fine though. We don't want her to be giving that shutdown gold away. 
and that is ggs we'll go ahead and do a part two if these guys are ff i would imagine they would want to at this point our team is just so far ahead their biggest win con at this point is i guess making it the team fights and letting swain dominate with hourglass and fiddlesticks out with hourglass i don't think they're gonna be able to make it to that point i guess fiora is winning her lane we'll see if that's enough well fiddlesticks is dead we'll push into his jungle take some camps we're fairly mobile, so we could get away if it comes to that. Quite easy to escape on a Talia. Champions with dashes, they can't jump through your E, they'll get stunned. So it's pretty challenging to chase. Even if you have high mobility, there's a good chance she can wreck you with her E. If you have a dash, a leap, or a jump. We'll reset for our next item, which generally when you're ahead and they can't threaten a kill, a Shadow Flame. If they can threaten a kill, then it goes Anya's. This is definitely feels like a Shadow Flame game, though. Fiddle's probably on his blue buff. Yes, yes, he is. This is all warded. I can't stay. He's going to army. We got to get out of here. Fiddle R still Fiddle R plus Fiddle R got buffed. It does quite a bit more damage. It has 25% higher AP scaling, plus it has higher flat damage on it as well. So, his R is no joke. And that is shutdown gold to Fior. Oof. Come on, Yumi! Let's get this Fiddlesticks. You can't escape from our passive and the Yumi slope. Got him. Awesome. <laughs> so funny. Yumi can go over walls. They're passive. It's an interesting synergy. Now, she, ooh, what the heck? That was spooky. We can even leave some more ground. They last for quite a while. Ideally for Talia, they would last forever. And then you'd be the most broken champion in the game by a mile. Every Q would slow. Every Q would be on a giga short cooldown. Yeah, it's 50% shorter cooldown. It's, it's way too much. It shouldn't do more damage and slow and be on a super short cooldown. It makes no sense. He actually got away, what the heck? He must have rocket belted, it's the only way. Oh, there's Fiora. Fiora's looking for something. Go ahead, ooh, <laughs> these guys are actually kind of coming back. They're finding shutdown gold left and right. I guess as long as they don't shut us down, we'll be fine. We'll reset, we can clear out bot side, wait for next objective. Preferably drag without forcing a barren conflict. That would be an easy way for, me, for them to get back into this game. We get a locket. Locket could be really good if we get hit by a Lux Snare or Fiddle R's in on us. It would be really helpful. Or if Swain Snare is about to hit us. Any life ending ability that is bearing down on us, really. Our current blue buff's about to end. With that being said, Talia's really mana hungry. Whenever you're not in your jungle or in the river, you run out of mana pretty fast. The jungle item keeps you filled up in jungle and river, but a lot of team fights don't take place in those areas, so. Make sure you double tap your R to ride it, and I didn't put it there, I put it over there. I must have dragged it onto the minimap, rip. Feels bad. Goodbye, fiddlesticks. Random luck snares. <laughs> we shot our R. Yeah, it must. I had it dragged over like like this. I must have put it over the mini map and then it went horizontal on me. That's a bit of an oof. Scuttle's already down. No biggie. We'll drag it out. No pun intended. take it so fast too we didn't even burn smite for it 
and we took less than like a quarter of our health. Well, about a quarter. That's not too shabby. Not too bad at all. Hey, if you're. Riddle's gonna try to arm me. I gotta move. Gotta get out of here. Team's nowhere near us. There's no point for us to be up here. Talia's really good at skirmishing, but ultimately, if you're by yourself, you're just trying to throw your shot down. As a highly mobile champion, ultimately, you do get to choose almost every engagement you take. So if you're dying a lot on Talia, that means you're either not paying attention to the minimap or you're just perma limit testing. She, she's a very fast champion who has decent disengage tools. You already know she has to run. Oh, uh, fiddlesticks, what are you doing, my guy? Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad indeed. By the way, this is one of fiddlesticks' worst counters in the game. Uh, it's one of his lowest win rate champs that you can play him against because fiddlesticks has to stand still for most of his abilities. For his most important ones, his drain and his R. And whenever you stand still, Talia eats you alive. She's, every one of her abilities is a skill shot, so as you can imagine, standing stills never a good thing on her no one's hitting the turret so basically the turrets killing everybody the turret needed to be attacked there pretty low on health as long as we backline we should live Phil's trying to R oh no he's going around now Yeah, what is he, where is he going? Only got him with a single rock there. If you don't know she can't go in. She can't jump through that. And down she goes. So much space. If you think about it, your E takes up most of the space in a team fight, and then your Q takes up the rest of it. There's nowhere for them move for them to move and not get blasted. There really is no space. That is what the community refers to as a control mage. Generally, it used to be things like Syndra and Oriana, Anivia, but Talia is also a pretty good one. Oh, baby. We'll go ahead and do a part two. This one was pretty short and one-sided. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of the buff Talia junk hole. Oh, baby. Fiddlesticks, what are you doing now? I think you already laid his control word. I think you did it foolishly. Oh, wait. He laid it over there. All right, that's fine. That doesn't really affect us in a negative way. It's actually good that we found him. Fiddlesticks is always gonna try to get vision down since he's generally a champion who doesn't start with refill, though you can start with it. The main downside is Fiddlesticks doesn't really win any one-on-one -on -one scraps with any jungler since they can either run away if they're too low health or if they're equal or more health, they'll beat him in a fight by default. Fiddlesticks only starts to win one with first ones if he leads in with his R. Which obviously he's going to need level 6 for. Ooh, Warwick into Olaf, yeah. Warwick's going to slaughter that. Olaf just got nerfed as well, so. I'm pretty sure they nerfed top Olaf, but they buffed jungle Olaf is what happened. Going to try to kite this out. Q from our worked ground, because once again, queuing from your dirty little circles is always the best move no matter what. Only exception to that rule is if the enemy has a spell shield or a banshees. Veil, something like that. Those are the only situations where you'd ever want to do a normal Q to shred it and then do damage on top of it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nuts. We avoided a lot of the damage from the big one by kiting it. Oh my God, those actually reset on me. Holy moly. We stunned them outside of their patience range. They got so impatient while they were stunned. Man, that must be tough. The golems were... Not only conscious, but very particular on resetting. They, they'd had enough while they were stunned. <laughs> Monster patience is such a joke, bro. Only reason it's in the game is to stop people from like S plus tier giga kiting the camps. But at the same time, I, I feel like 
I would rather people be doing that than the monster camp just arbitrarily running past you to reset. It, it just seems silly. That was the worst W of my life. Rip. We should still be able to run close to a 315 even with these two mistakes. Is Talia is that good right now? I'm going to bounce him back. Used our work ground as well. I'll attack Q. So it looks like it's going to be a 320. Not too shabby. Finish off the blue buff. Oh wow, 325. Holy moly. We cleared way slower this game. Those mistakes actually did kind of cost us a little bit, but we still finished high HP. Go ahead and take this bad boy. It's gonna run away right when you hit him, so we'll throw it out slightly farther than neutral. Mid lane isn't looking particularly gankable. Top lane is looking particularly gankable. Go ahead and gank it. I think Fiddle started top side, otherwise he would have been here. I accidentally did the wrong ping. I assume Warwick doesn't have flash. We'll find out though. We're gonna blast him back, get him stunned. Auto attack Q. I don't want to take any last hits from this guy, but I am gonna help soak the XP. As a jungler, that helps you hit very timely level sixes. And he got all of that gold. And hope Warwick should hopefully lose some minions here. We'll pop a refill, reset, and drop them you all. They've made it to where muting your teammates is better than ever. Because uh, they've made it to where if enemies are passing a ward, it'll danger ping it. Boom, instantly. So if you, you lay a ward, an enemy pops into vision, you'll instantly be alert, alerted and you can react accordingly. So it's not like, oh, I don't mute my teammates, so just in case they see something, they can ping it. Like, you'll already know type of thing. And if anything, your teammates' pings will just cause pollution, and then you won't... It'll be hard to differentiate between the high-quality good pings from the game versus your teammates' like just bad pings. Where are these guys? I don't know where they went. That's really sad, though. Oh, man. Oh, well. What we'll do here is we'll take Raptors into Krugs and then gank bot lane again. Because they're very gankable. We have a Leona, so it feels gankable. Normally, you'd want to keep up your full clear into gank. I'm assuming Olaf can win that fight now after that gank, so. This game is gonna be somewhat reliant on that now that I'm gonna be playing bot side. We have two work grounds to use here, but they're out of the patience range of these monsters, so I can't use that other one, unfortunately. The stun is just so long. I don't know why it's that big. It should be a second, but instead it's much longer than a second. Yeah, three seconds stun. Holy fudge muffins. What were they thinking? Uh, I guess we'll get some vision here. Get him through the stun. Hit him with the Q. Good rotation from the victor. We should still be able to get away. Hmm. Draven gets a kill. It's a team. I think we just need to kite this back. Fiddlesticks just got his R. He's not going to get a chance to use it, though. Feels bad for him. That was a good juke by Victor's part, and we didn't really get anything out of it. Rip. We'll go grab our red. Oh, my God. That scared me. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a realistic effigy. We'll grab our red real quick. We're getting a lot of mana back per second. You get more. Like I said, when you're in the jungle or the river from your jungle item and you get even more mana, the lower on mana you are. So you are rewarded for being a low mana as a jungler, essentially. We should have queued off the worked ground. That was my bad. That three second stun is the real deal. 
Now we'll go top for Weedwick. Tries to ult the Olaf, but he can't. And then Olaf wins it. Very nice. Very, very nice. We'll grab Lost Chapter. We'll grab that. Wait, we still don't have boots. I guess we'll grab those then. Mm, I guess that's fine. Bit of an awkward purchase. We'll go uh, maybe kill Fiddlesticks. Never mind. I guess we'll go bot again. We'll take Grant Blue, Wolves, Raps, clear down into bot side. It sucks holding on to R for this long. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Three seconds down. Here we go. <laughs> That's when you know that you really want a champion to be uh, a favorite among like beginners. Give it a three second hard CC against monsters that you can use pretty much all the time. It's just so big. I, I can pretty much guarantee they're going to nerf that to probably a second to two seconds max. There's no way they're going to leave it three seconds. Absolutely no way. I'll go top. Warwick doesn't have R. Or he shouldn't. His fear is on cooldown as well. He's looking for a word. Maybe going for scuttle crab. It's kind of annoying. Right when we come up here, he leaves to fulfill his dreams of being a jungler. Uh, we might actually... I don't know. I think we're fine. Our boulder made the difference, I think. We get the smite to heal off of the herald. They're not able to quite pinch us and they both die for it. Fiddlesticks is bot side, so we should be safe to take this. Olaf started it, so technically I have to like, oh, okay, he'll let me take it. That's cool. I'll go back top. That was nice. You're generally supposed to give the herald, let wh whoever started it or did the most of the lifting at the start have it. So it was clear he was okay with me having it. So I'll, I'll take it at that point. You can also W then, you don't have to E then W, but generally you do want to E then W because your E slows. So by the nature of them being slowed, it's much easier for you to land your W. But if for whatever reason you want W first because they're already CC'd or slowed, you can W and then in midair get that E down and they get freaking destroyed. Oh no, Olaf died. Hopefully he's not mad at me. I told him his R was going to be up. I warned him, but he did not heed my words. Wait, my red buff's down, what am I doing? This is a weird situation. Dude, I'm silenced. I can't move! <laughs> I can't move, dude. I should have gone Merc Treads. I was CC'd for nearly three seconds. Oh my god, man. It's a lot of damage. Fiddle chunked me without even R. He did nearly my whole health bar. Good grief. Outrageous, one might say. And I do. Draven gets the kill. That's awesome. You get some adoration stacks in. We need to go lay our Herald top side before it runs out. Herald scrapes two plates and a sliver. This one down to two plates and a little over a sliver. Just need a few autos on that and we'll be good to go. First death of the game. What a goofy death. We had a nice pinch on them, but man, Fiddle wrecked us so hard. What are the odds it's two Fiddle sticks in a row? I guess he did just get buffed, but still. Everyone wants to play the buffed champs. Yeah, I'll just lay the Herald so we can take it. That's huge. I'm just going to ping Fiddles right there. I'm going to watch the flank. Make sure he doesn't get around us. And yep. Very nice. We get first turret gold and first turret gold bonus plus a plate. Not bad. We will be taking that. 
It's also reduced mana cost. It's just so bizarre. Your your boulder is less mana and more damage, lower cooldown and a slow. It's like what does it not do? It does it all, folks. They said, you know what? Whenever Talia has to queue off of her worked around, it feels bad. So let's just make it better at all points. <laughs> You've gone too far, right? I'll tell you right now, <laughs> it's gone too far. Sona, oof, she's in a rough spot there. I think Leona could so. Ooh, all right, all right, I'll take it. Thank you. We'll help Draven get this. You're not doing too bad. They almost four kills. What the heck? They almost farming like crazy. Draven stays. He's healing up a decent amount. Warwick spot side. Get him with the knockback. Feels bad for Warwick. <laughs> he got destroyed. I don't know if his Q dash counts, but any dashes, jumps, or leaps, if someone uses it when they're on your E they will get stunned so you're not you don't even have to be the one to push them through so i don't know if he got stunned there kind of seemed like he did off my e might have just been the way i perceived it though i'd rather not give ziri red buff very happy work died nice olaf wants to come now nah, he wants red buff i don't know if i can kill this guy without olaf though He put his thing in a really weird spot, and I missed everything. I don't really have the items to fight him though. He's a full item. I thought maybe you know. I thought maybe you know what? Maybe he plays it kind of weird, and we could get a cheeky quick kill. Clearly, it didn't turn out that way. Freaking butthole fiddlesticks, stink bag. Taking advantages of us like that. <laughs> sort of recalling. How could he? All right, Olaf has a nice item advantage. He shouldn't even need us at this point. He should be able to comfortably solo that, especially when his R is up. He also has a huge CS advantage, more than just kills. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. All right, it's time to reset. We've been sitting on a full Ludens for a while now. A lot of people have been saying Nila's OP, and I understand why. I think her kit is very overloaded. Like it's just doing way too much stuff, similar to Samira. A lot of people have equated her to Samira 2.0, which I think is fair. However, from what I've seen personally so far, and this could change instantly because they put out mid-patch buffs for stuff like this to make, make new champions very strong. So but from what I've seen so far, she hasn't seemed that good. Like her base stats don't seem good, but the kit, yes, does seem very overpowered. I have a feeling within a week, I'll change my tune on that and say, wow, this champion is completely broken. Stats are too high. Samira was that way for like half a year. Where she was picking band, picking band. She'd completely ruin games. Her R. She would full life still off of her R. She's just so broken. So they've changed her quite a bit since then. You don't see Samira nearly as often. That's a nice visual bug. They got Dragon. So I guess we'll play for Herald this game and wrap this one up early. I don't mind. Early ends. I personally prefer League of Legends in the early mid game. I don't I don't really like playing the late game that much. Like I understand how to and like what's generally optimal, but ultimately late game, if you or a teammate makes a small or medium sized mistake, it can cost you the game super easily. Cause whether it's the elder, the baron, or they just push an N5 versus four. The early mid game has a lot more pliability. A lot more give and take. Uh, yeah, I just prefer it a lot. First 30 minutes. Preferably first 25. <laughs> first 25 are the best. Oh, I'm in a weird spot. Get away from me! Oh my gosh, that freaking jump range. At least Fiddlesticks died for that. Warwick should die too if Draven kites it out really well. 
Oh, Draven. He had it if he put that spinning axe the other direction. He thought Warwick was going to keep chasing without R. Olaf's on the Sona. She's not in her later levels with perma spam on her E. She's not going to be able to get away from this one. Very nice. Dragon up in 2 minute 40. Fiddle red buff just came up. We might be able to pressure that. Our team doesn't have a very good front line. Like, all we really have is Leona. Olaf went for a hole breaker, so he's not probably not going to show up to team fights. You don't usually build that item if you want to play with the team. You build that when you want to perma split. I think that item's still very, very broken. It was at its max brokenness when it gave equal stats for range champs, and you could play like Trist or Vayne top and be absolutely 1v9. So, so broken. You'll find that the best items and the best keystones in League of Legends are nerfed on range champs, and that's generally how you can kind of break down build and and uh, more optimal uh, structures for champions and whatnot. So, for example, Conquer and Lethal Tempo are both two of the few keystones that are nerfed for range champs, and you'll find that the carry potential on them is quite a bit higher than the other keystones. Obviously, your champion needs to be able to utilize them, though. If you're building it on a champ who can't really use them, then there's no point. If you're going to build <laughs> Lethal Tempo on Fiddlesticks or something. So, why are you in my jungle, dude? Oh, she already got past me. Oof. She's she's moving pretty quick now. Draven's low. I guess I'll go play around Olaf. There's no one here to play around. Jeez, Olaf, what are you doing? Run her down with our E. And then we'll run out. Oh god, we're taking some serious damage. I'll let's set this and leave. It'll force them all to recall. It's the deal with the old apple breaker split with Harold. They'll have to. We need to recall that way. Warwick's not getting blood sent off of us. We don't want him to be able to sprint the map, kick his light speed. Come on, Olaf, you can do it! Believe! He's getting mauled by a bunch of mages. Feels bad. <laughs> if he had his R, he probably kills them all there. Man, they've gotten all of our team shutdowns. They're, we're not even really ahead anymore other than the Leona shutdown. Once they get that, the game will be completely neck and neck. W and back, down he goes. We hit him with the big slow. And a blue smite. His R moves faster the closer he is to you, so the farther away he gets, his R can't really keep up with you. And they got dragon. Oof. Goodbye, Sona. Got the blue. Oh, my blue smite didn't go off on her. Shoot. It's unfortunate. We need to heal up off of something real quick before it's too late. They have dual dragons. Man, we really don't want to take this late game. If they end up getting soul with how good Fiddlesticks is right now and how good Neela potentially is with full build. Haven't seen full build Neela yet, but with her kit, I'm assuming it's OP. She's chilling mid. Fiddle baits out the the dive and then pops in. Down goes Fiddle, Neela gets the gold shut down, that's not good. Then she kind of jumps in and kills everybody. Yeah, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to catch me like that. Mm, maybe I can help him here. Uh, double tap. Got her with the. She jumped through my thing, so she got wrecked. She jumped through my E, so she self stunned herself without even realizing it. Nice. That's a really good. Triple. Three for one combo. Not bad. All it took was an Olaf sacrifice. 
Talia is just so good right now. They've given her so much in her kit. To, to be absolutely full HP while farming monsters, having great ganks, a really impactful level six, solid scaling, and to have ranged auto attacks, man. She's got just about everything. Do it, Leona. Oh, I don't think we can do it now. Dang, I burned my blue smite for that too. Blue smite's pretty important for landing skill shots. Blue buffs down. I think an effigy saw me is what happened there. Yep, walk into that for me. Victor, thanks. Are these guys still chasing? I'm dead if Sona R's. Get away from me! I have to get my E down. Save myself. Oh, my E killed in no way. What the heck? That was so weird. My E had so much range there. Whoa, does it actually get... It gets longer per level. Did they add that? Dude, this thing is long as heck. Holy smokes. That's a one fat long E. Look, it just keeps going. Yeah, it's... I didn't realize that. Feels nice. Champ's broken. Absolutely busted. It used to be a thing only for high elo, and even then it was kind of finicky making it work. And now it's like, my goodness, everyone needs to take advantage of this. This is giving me vibes back when Camille Jungle was S plus tier, where it's like you had to pick or ban it, and if you didn't, you were a goofball. Because you could just get so much work done so consistently without an immense amount of counterplay. Like there's like, what's the direct counter to a champion with hyper range, lots of CC and good mobility and solid scalability. Like nothing really, I mean, nothing too prevalent. I'm sure Locke didn't appreciate that. Oh, that's my bad. He's probably typing. I didn't realize he was trying to get an item. I guess I should probably back myself here. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. Like an absolute absurd number. Yeah, we can grab Ravadon, mulch these guys. Zonis wouldn't be bad, but we do have double melee frontline to block. So I feel like we can get away with this for a bit. Go ahead and buy another amp tome, get rid of the refill, going balls to the wall, full nut mode engaged. Fiddlesticks is looking to set up some vision on dragon area. We'll see, we'll see. It all depends on how big the Fiddle and Victor are. are. Those are their, I guess Sona as well. We don't have very much positioning there. Fiddle could very easily show up in this fight. Holy moly, yep. That's exactly what I was worried about. Sure enough, he was on one of the two yellow pings. But down goes his team. Very solid for us. He killed us, but we had already sh done decent shred damage to his teammates before he hit, so we'd already more or less done our job for our team. His ult was a little late. He might have been slightly out of position, but he needed to get off that sooner. And that's it, they quit. They decided they had had enough. Interesting, we'll take a look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken. We're probably top two damage dealt, I'd imagine. Let's see. Looking at damage dealt, we had the second highest in the game behind Olaf. Props to him for damage taken. We had taken middle of the pack, reasonable amount. It is a little bit higher than it seems at first glance because normally it's like, oh, junglers, their damage taken is inflated because they're constantly getting munched by jungle monsters, which is true. However, to lead a jungler right now doesn't take a meaningful amount of damage from jungle monsters since she has them perma stunned. So this is actually, I'm, I'm very happy with that number. Looking at runes, high value all around, really like it. If you guys enjoyed this Talia jungle gameplay commentary guide, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.